I guess you don't know the power of Siri automation. They can be our lifesaver if we have set and used them wisely. Hello everyone, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog and in this video, I'll share 9 different Siri automation that I use the most. This video covers Siri automation to get reminders, no daily weather, automation to save data plan, helpful for iPhone battery and lot more. Watch this video till the end to know all these amazing Siri automation. And yes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated for such amazing hacks. The first on this list is to get the reminder every day at the same time. I was infected with the COVID-19 in recent weeks and took medication for that. And every day, I need to take medicine three times a day. But it happens so many times that I forgot to take medicine at noon time, like after lunch time. And here, I need something that reminds me every day to take medicine. So I took the help of Siri automation. Now create personal automation and select the time of the day. Adjust the time like 1.45 pm and select daily from the repeat frequency. Now tap on next and add the action of speak text. Add the text like it's time to take medicine and tap on next. Toggle up the switch next to ask before running and tap on done. Now every day at 1.45 pm this automation will remind me to take medicine. Just like this you can set reminders for anything for every day specific day of the week or on a particular day. Use it wisely not to miss any important stuff. The next Siri automation I guess is the need of everyone. Everyone out there like me who turns off or snooze the alarm every morning and thinks to take a nap for 10 more minutes and find it's been late. So not to regret anymore and let Siri be our mom or a wife in this situation. Create personal automation for alarm. Select is snoozed. Select on and tap on next. Now add speak text action and add text. Like don't snooze the alarm as you are already late for work. Tap on next and from this screen toggle up the switch ask before running. Tap on done and you are all done. Now every time you snooze alarm, Siri will be your mom and will shout to wake you up. <laughs> Just kidding, it will not shout but will ask you politely to wake up and we will not be late for the work. Or you can add text that greets you every morning. Let me show you how you can greet yourself, know the current date and weather. Add alarm automation and select is stop. Now add an action of speak text and text like this. Good morning Nikhil, today is and hold it for a second to take a look at the available option right above the keyboard. From here select current date. Now set an action to get current weather and then add another action to speak text. It will pick the weather condition to speak. Now whenever you stop the alarm your iPhone will greet you and will share the current date and weather conditions. Amazing, like I have never thought of this use of Siri before and all thanks to my skill to explore and try new things. I got to know this automation too. This was a little bit personal and wake up in a good mood. But do you know, Siri automation can also help you to save your mobile data plan and your money. You heard that right, Siri automation can help you to save your mobile data. The trick is very simple. Siri will remind you to turn off your mobile data whenever you connect to your known Wi-Fi network. To set it up, select Wi-Fi from the Siri automation. Pick Wi-Fi network like your home and office Wi-Fi network. Now tap on next and add the action to set mobile data. Set it to off and tap on next. And right from here, tap on done. Now every time you connect to any of your known like your selected Wi-Fi network it will remind you to turn off the mobile data. Run that Siri automation and you will start saving mobile data. I guess you will not only save mobile data but also your iPhone battery too. I experienced whenever I was connected to data plan it consume a battery a lot compared to Wi-Fi connection and it is advisable to turn off mobile data whenever it is not in use. This is more painful when the battery level is already low and that time it's been difficult to choose between save battery life and like to use mobile data. In such situation, I'll pick to save battery life over using a mobile data and for that I use Siri automation which helps me to turn off mobile data 
whenever I activate the low power mode. Create personal automation and pick low power mode. Select is turned on. Now add action to set mobile data. Pick the option to turn it off and tap on next. Toggle up the switch, ask before running and tap on done. Now whenever you activate the low power mode on your iPhone, it will turn off the mobile data. Low power mode Siri automation. I guess that grabbed your attention and made you thought like, is there any Siri automation for the battery? Not one, but I know three Siri automation that is dedicated to iPhone's battery. But before I share them all, I would like to share one automation that is related to Bluetooth. And this is one of my favorite Siri automation while I drive. I set this to start playing a music whenever my iPhone connects to my car audio system. To do that, create personal automation and select Bluetooth. Now pick the Bluetooth device like car audio or you can pick the AirPods or other music system. Tap on next and add action to play music and select your favorite playlist. Tap on next and then done. That was simple, right? Now it's time to talk about the last three Siri shortcut which are dedicated to the iPhone's battery. And the first on the list is to turn on low power mode. <laughs> I know, I know, iPhone itself suggests turning on low power mode when the iPhone battery level hits to 20%. But what if your iPhone battery health is not good and those 20% of the battery only survives for a couple of minutes or for an hour? In such situation, turning on low power mode, maybe at 50% battery life, will help us to keep our iPhone alive for a few more minutes. Create personal automation and pick battery level. Now select the battery level to 50% or the one you would like to activate the low power mode. Tap on next and add the action for a low power mode. Set it to turn on and tap on next. Now toggle up the switch next to ask before running and done. From this moment, whenever your iPhone hits to selected battery level, it will remind you to turn on low power mode. Next series shortcut is again a life saving hack. Not my life, but definitely iPhone's battery life. Many times I faced a problem that I put my iPhone in a charging and sometimes power cuts down for some reason. And I don't know that my iPhone stopped charging. How about iPhone itself says, hey, charging is stopped. Sounds silly, right? But your iPhone can say that to you. Create personal automation for charger. From here, select is disconnected option and tap on next. Now add action to speak text and add text like I am disconnected from the plug point. On the next screen, toggle up the switch, ask before running and tap on done. Now no need to leave in a dilemma that my iPhone is charging or not. Your iPhone will only say that to you. But what about the battery level? Will iPhone speak that too? Like there is a myth. If we charge our iPhone 100%, it will impact the battery health and not to charge iPhone fully 100%. So many of my friends and some of the our iGeeks blog follower on Instagram using this Siri automation to disconnect the iPhone from charging when it hits to 95%. Create personal automation and select battery level. Now set it to 95% and tap on next. Add speak text action and add text like I am 95% charged. Please disconnect. Toggle up the switch, ask before running and tap on done. Now every time you put your iPhone in charge and when it hits to 95% battery level, it will ask you to disconnect. Amazing right? And I guess all the Siri automation I just talked about are amazing. I hope you liked it. If you did then please greet this video by liking it, subscribing to my YouTube channel and share this video with your fellow iPhone user. I'm sure you have a few more to share that I have missed or not using. I'm talking about the Siri automation and my humble request to share this Siri automation that can help me and my viewers like you. Do share them in the comment section down below and allow me to say goodbye. I am Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.